Good morning, Sid. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad, lad. It'd uh, be great to get me office done and get the booking office sorted out so he can start taking on punters and having trains stop here. Because at the moment, nothing's stopping here. Well, I'll see what we can do about that, Sid. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tony Northeast. And um, another episode of building Time Dock Station. This week we're going to try and focus uh, on getting as much done to the main building as possible so we can start getting the electrics fitted. So, as Sid was saying, he wants to get his office up and running and the booking office as well so we can start organising trains to stop at time docks at the moment they're just flying through and um, I guess he's a little bit impatient so let's see what we can do here first of all I want to make the um, counter for the ticket office um, and decorate the ticket office and put in the ceiling um, the furniture we can do right at the end because um, I'll do all the furniture at once rather than stopping and starting making furniture because whatever I make for the ticket office no doubt will end up in the um, station master's office as well so let's get cracking and here we have the ticket office counter which will run the full width of that um, gable end of the building and as you can see it's just fairly simple a um, couple of shelves and four sets of drawers and as you can see there's the window pins there as well and uh, yeah, so that's the cunning plan for the counter. Um, I've cut a piece of card which is 10.5 millimeters in height. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark a series of lines where the folds are going to be. And hopefully we'll end up with the counter. I have now marked out the card for all the folds because it is a question of how we fold this piece of card to form the drawers that go underneath the counter um, so this end fold here is the tab which is going to be glued onto the back and then we've got the drawer folds each one of these front drawers are going to have a score mark Then we can start to fold this up. Hopefully it should work out once we've done all these folds at 65.1 millimeters. So we'll just start folding these. Might take a while. So this is the actual back of counter this one here so we folded that one then we fold this one so now we've got our first set of drawers and we fold that one back now if I hold this on edge and we should see that the folds at the back should come in line now we should fold that back towards us keeping on the pencil line Really score, really get these folds nice and sharp, and then we'll do the same there. And see, now we're bringing the chest of drawers back towards us, and then we should fold that one back 
on itself that way. So as you can see, that's what's happening there. And then in between these, once that's glued onto the strip card on the back, then we can put some shelves in there. And that one should be folded towards us. And this one folded towards us. This one folded away from us, and so on and so on. A little tiny bit of glue on this corner, and we'll just let that soak in a little bit, soften up the card. Because once we um, start sticking this, we don't want it to start sliding all over the place when we start gluing. So we'll stick that first tab on that corner then hopefully that's got a hold look along the edge make sure it's square then we'll push that one in to form the square box get that nice and square and then we should do that with the next one and then keep Constantine and it all in until we get to the last part. Right, we're slowly getting near towards the edge now, so I'm just spreading that glue right to the corner and hopefully we'll capture that last, last set of drawers right on the edge. So we shall push that in to get the square set up. Okay, we need at least a mill for the last set of jaws, and it looks like it's going to work out more right, so we'll get that back piece stuck down. And then hopefully we've got enough room. Yeah, looks like it's going to work. This is what it looks like after I've put a top and a bottom on. So what I'm doing now, I'm just adding a plinth now so that when I do come to fit the floor, I've got something for the glue to glue onto, apart from just the um, running boards around the edges of the walls. So hopefully this will stiffen up these chest of drawers and as you can see we've got a little bit of a plinth going on there if I can just show you there you go you see that's what that piece of card has done on the bottom it's just added a plinth so I'll just make sure that's flush with the back wall and I've just set it in slightly all the way around right so that is almost ready for painting I've just got to add a single shelf in between each set of drawers um, just by trimming another piece of card probably no deeper than about five mil so I need a five mil strip and I'll put a five mil strip into each one of them and then that's ready for painting so I'll just give you this quick brief look uh, of what it looks like fitted in situ 
Um, it's not the best camera angle because you're looking at it from the base, but that kind of gives you an, an idea. Um, it's flush with the uh, windows there, as you can just make out and just see that. There you go. So that is now ready for painting. I'm now adding some skirting boards to go around all the walls here and what this does it gives us a lip for gluing on the bases if you like or the floors. Notice how the uh, intermediate walls are one mil higher than the um, outside walls and you can see the lip along the main walls as it were and that then just gives us that extra gluing platform when we come to put the bases in or the floors in uh, as you can see I've got a long way to go I've got all these other walls to do yet but and all I'm using is it's just a little bit of uh, two mil wide card uh, one mil thick probably less than that it's the card that we use for the slate roofing and that's all I'm doing it's just creating an edge for the base floors. I'm also doing lots of other little jobs um, like what I'm doing now. These are the ladies cubicles going into the um, well, ladies. So because I've put a return lip on each one of them, I'm just got to bring the thickness of the card out so I can fit them and glue them to the wall. So we'll get a nice straight edge along the front, otherwise it'll just end up bowing in the middle. So these are the ladies' cubicles, which will just drop into there. Um, just below the chimney there, so that go into there. So at the same time as I'm doing the skirting, I'm doing lots of other little jobs. Um, before I start putting ceilings in and uh, this just happens to be one of them. What I'm doing now is um, wallpapering out the station master's office. Um, this is not easy. Um, if I was going to do this I think I should have done it uh, before I had assembled the walls but um, this is how it's going to look. So this is the station master's office and um, the idea here is I'm going to drop this wallpaper in just there so the cutouts are going around the doors and windows there and the bottom half here I'm going to put in some wooden panelling and um, yeah uh, if you were going to do this I think it would have done this before I assembled the whole building to make it that little bit easier but with a little bit of patience and very careful measuring it does work out as you can see there. So that's the wallpapering done in the station master's office now the next thing I want to do is add some wooden panelling to go around the room and I'm just going to take it up to the edge of the wallpaper there so I'm measuring that and that's 16 millimeters so I'll be making the wooden panelling at 14.5 which leaves me enough room as you can see there I've got a little lip to put the floor into the building so all the flooring is going to be pushed up into the building so like we've got here uh, in the ticket office you can see the chest of drawers and have you I've got a nice one and 0.2 mil gap there for the card flooring uh, when we come to do that. So that's the, the next step. Um, so what I'm using for that, I'm just using some 0.5 card. I'm going to cut it up into strips of 14.5 um, uh, mm. I'm going to do one strip for the station master's office. I'm going to do another strip without the skirting on for the booking office. So the, you've got the wooden panelling more or less throughout the building. Um, that is the plan and that's what I'm going to do next. So 
let's crack on. This is what I've had in mind. So we've got the skirt and board and we've got the top rail of the panelling. So all I've got to do now is add some dividing pieces every 8mm or so. One on the edge there and one on the edge there and then just work our way in. And uh, then we can paint this up uh, a red mahogany colour and then we can fit this into the station master's office. I'm cutting some card to make the panels up themselves. I'm cutting the strips uh, just over a millimeter, 1.2, something like that. Because any thicker than that, and it just would not look realistic. It looked too well, too wide. This is how I'm working out where the panelling is going to go. Um, so from the edge of that door frame to the end of this wall here. So I've worked, put the end pieces there and there. And then I'll just divide the spaces up. Um, and then what I'll do on the back of the card, I'll mark where it's going to go. So this is number one. And uh, I'll just mark on the back of there. So after when it's painted, I know exactly where this wood wooden panelling is going to go regarding where it is in the room and uh, as you can see I'm almost done with this panelling I've just got to put a couple of more strips in the middle there you probably guessed that uh, it's been a while since I've been in the loft I mean I keep trying to get up here but it's just been so hot recently and, um, and it's nice to get back up here again So as you can see, I've just marked a little line there. So I'm making these 8mm apart and uh, a little bit of rocket glue. And then we just drop in these little dividing pieces here, making sure they're, they're vertical. And it don't take long to put this together. And just wipe off any excess glue. And I think Sid will be very proud of his new office. It's quite bright and airy. And uh, and the panelling does look very effective. Um, yeah, with the two-tone red and then the white wallpaper. Uh, I've just positioned this little piece in. So I'll just carry on gluing the rest of the panelling in because... Uh, I want to start working on putting the electrics in. As you can see, I've got the cables in there ready, which have come up through the chimney, through the bottom there of that uh, fireplace. So that will conceal the cables. So it's just a question of now finishing this office off, decorating wise that is, so I can put the ceiling in. Now that all the panelling is done, uh, has changed the look of the rooms completely and it uh, well it's like doing a little mini makeover <laughs> and here is the ticket office with the light oak uh, wood panelling um, I can safely say I can now put on the ceiling um, for this office and hopefully start getting the lighting system started uh, so let's have a look what I've done with the ceiling and here is the ceiling uh, as you go as you can see we've got uh, 12 terminal blocks um, six live six neutral so hopefully I've got enough um, terminal blocks for the supply for both buildings and it's going to be interesting how I actually feed the electrics to the other side uh, into the building that contains the lift and the refreshments room. So that's the top side of the ceiling and then underneath you see uh, an LED. The ceiling still needs painting but once that's painted with a matte white uh, then we can be able to fit it. Um, somewhere amongst there you can still see the resistor um, for that LED and uh, this is virtually ready to be glued 
into the station master's office. That's the ceiling now glued into the station master's office and I've connected up the cables and I've also added my little two pin plug here. So I think it's time to give it a test on the platform. And here we are, we're back at Town Dock Station and the building is back on the platform. And guess what? We have lighting. So we have electrical supply to the building and uh, I think Sid should be quite happy. But if you look through the window there's a dirty great big hole in the floor and he's got no furniture. But we have reached a milestone in this video with at least two rooms fully decorated and two more left to do but that will be for another video anyway it's great to be back on the scene and I'm sure the videos will be a little bit more regular now um, yeah still got lots to do anyway thanks for watching and thanks for your patience and uh, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now. Bye.